so we got another one running. That sound that you heard was just this fan shroud kind of falling off. I wasn't expecting it to actually start, so I didn't bolt that on. Um, so one thing I did notice is even the amp gauge on this one works. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, it, it fired a couple times and then it stopped. So I pulled the spark plug out, it was wet. So I replaced it with a different one and sure enough it has spark now. I put that one in there. I know it's not the right one, but it's just one that I had. So I'll end up getting the correct one now that I know that it actually works. Air filter, I had to rig something up because I didn't have the correct one. So I just had this other cover and just uh, wired it on so it at least had an air filter for now. So next thing to probably do on here is to actually bolt that flywheel cover on. Keep this carburetor from leaking. It's dripping from that bolt. So I guess it needs a new, uh, new gasket right under there which isn't a big deal. Put this hose through the proper holes for it. Uh, put the hood on, put battery in, put a new battery cable on it because that one somebody cut it. And this tractor will be about done. I guess change the oil too because it's, well either way it's gonna get changed because I know what, hap what, what would happen. But it's kind of black, not bad though. Um, so this is going to get my dozer blade put on the front just like my other 16.6 had. Uh, I need to do some work on the hood yet, like decals and whatever. And then uh, that one's just about done. 99 is just about done. Uh, the 20T basically just has the hood to go on. Figure out this bolt here because that broke off when I was removing the uh, nut that holds the filter on. Uh, grill corner, which I have. And let's see what else. Oh, the front tire. I painted the lower grill. I just kind of dusted some paint on there, as well as the front axle. And this side frame right there, because it was nasty, full of rust. So, next thing I'd like to do is also see if I can get that floorboard a little bit cleaner. Um, otherwise... I will come back when I get a little bit more progress on the 16.6. So we are back working on some tractors. As you can see, I got a lot done on that 16.6. It's completely done besides the decals. And when I repaint my SS18, I'm going to get the factory paint for that. So I'm going to, at that point, paint another side cover that's a factory color. I just wanted something there just for now. So, after doing some more fine tuning on the carburetor and everything, here's the starting procedure. started a little bit harder that time but if you just had it running it starts like as soon as you just bump the key I thought that was really cool it burns just a little bit of oil it smoked really bad but as soon as I changed the oil it got pretty much all cleared up it's been getting better it has the typical Tecumseh knock to it just like they all do but that's not a big deal um, it has a little bit of smell of oil but at least it's not actually visible so it might need rings at some point in time but I'm pretty sure it'll last a very very long time if not like forever like that so um, probably gonna drag something else in I'm gonna put the hood on the 20T and get this tire put on and then like I say probably drag something else in here because 20T and 199 are as far as I can go without getting all the stuff I ordered for them, um, which is basically the oil filter and air filter. And I already have the oil, so when the time comes, I can just change the oil and do all that stuff. Probably get new spark plugs for them. 
Um, at least for the 199 because that doesn't have the cracked spark plugs. Um, so anyway, I'll uh, come back when I get some more progress. So I got the hood put on the 20T. Uh, the grill corner put on and I put another layer of paint on that lower grill to make it look somewhat okay. Took that side metal thing that was right there where all that dirt is off and now I need to clean that part of the frame because that's dirty now. Uh, got a side cover sitting on it. I went to start it and the starter did something a little weird. Let's see if this battery still has juice. Nope. Alright. But it made some grinding sounds, so I'm pretty sure that starter is going to be done. <sighs> Probably just replace it just because I, I think they're the same as... I think all the Onans have the same starters like that, so... Probably just going to put a different one on it because I'm tired of messing with it. That's the third time I'd have that flywheel cover off already. Uh, so 99, nothing's been touched on that yet. So the little thing, I got this hauled in. And I got the 12.6 hauled in. I literally just shut the forklift off. But first, I'll talk about this. So I got the more deck took off, the hood off, and the engine that was on it is right here. It's in halfway okay shape, but it's kind of bad. Um, I think if it would run, if it would run, it probably would be short lived. Just because of the condition and how much rust there is on it, I don't think it'll be anything worth trying to fix. So there's this 173 push more engine. I'm going to try to fit this on here. Um, so the reason it's sitting on there crooked is because that's the only way it would sit on there somewhat decent. So I'd like to move it back as far as I can. Uh, with the exhaust on this side, it'll clear the clutch pedal. And then if I move this tie rod to the very bottom instead of the top, it should be enough to clear this air filter. And when I go to move it back, I'm going to have to cut the frame, unfortunately, just to move it back just a little bit, and then I'm probably going to fill in this hole a little bit with something to support the front. Uh, something else I'm going to do is I'm going to weld the front axle solid because it's not the correct front axle for this. So, the only way to really make this axle from falling off is to weld it on there solid. And I don't think I'll have to worry about, like, having the frame twist. Oh, I mean, the frame will twist instead of having a wheel come up in the air, which that's fine. I need to get some different tires for it. I have front tires, and I might have some back tires. Moving on to the 12.6. Uh, this thing's probably going to get a Honda GX200 or 160. Something along that line. I forget exactly what it was. But I need to do some cleaning on this thing first. Oh, I forgot that hood wasn't attached. So set that there. I need to take this battery out, all the wiring, because none of that's going to get used. Fuel tank is actually in decent shape. Maybe I'll use that. I don't know. I might. I wonder if this uh, gas gauge would fit in like an SS16 with the metal tank under the seat. It might be too long, but that'd be cool if it would. But anyway, there's the two more projects I added to the list since I took off. Since the 16.6 single is pretty much just decals, which I'm going to make those tonight on the computer. Print them off, laminate them. And then they'll be ready to stick on here. And then that thing will be completely done. It's pretty well turnkey. The 20T has the starter issue. The oil. And then of course the air filter and fuel, uh, fuel filter. Not fuel filter, but uh, air filter and oil filter. Probably a seat, because that seat's ugly. And the 99 is pretty much just an oil change, filter... And battery and that's done as well as put the side cover and stuff like that on so kind of doing more projects than just one at this time because then I have a little bit more to do and not bored doing one thing so 
I'll probably work on this 12.6 for a while and then uh, probably get that at least looking good. And then probably going back, working on this. I'd like to get this thing finished up because I think this thing will be really cool. So I'll get more progress in the next video. So working on the 12.6. I got the fuel tank taken out, the battery taken out. Most of the wiring out. Um, I left some of it because it was in really good shape. And if I ever decide to put factory style engine back in here, I can just... Uh, Splice back into it and reuse it. Um, I did, however, break the gas tank taking it out, which kind of sucked. As you can see, that's snapped off now. I have a couple ideas I could do to fix it. Um, it's to get what, the same kind of a thing, but you can get it with uh, threads on there. You'd have to somehow reach down into the tank with a nut to put on the other side. But it's it's doable or find a different tank for it since it's just a plain square tank. So I'm gonna mount this Honda which I guess is actually a GX 160 uh, five and a half horse. So I had to, this rubber thing was really easy to come off. I just tipped the tractor over and 7 sixteenths nut and it came right off. This one here there's part of the steering that's right in the way so there's no way I could actually get get into there so I just kind of pried it up and it came out and I came up with this cool idea on getting the back bolt in there so I just got some tape tape that on the bolt once as I got that bolt in there now I can put the engine on and slip my wrench through the back hole right here to get onto the bolt so that tapes just there to hold it uh, this engine has a spline uh, crankshaft, so what I'm going to do is just weld this pulley to it, kind of like that, and then if I ever need to get in there, I can just grind the welds off and take the pulley off. Um, so I'm going to probably get that engine mounted on here and uh, get ready to go for a test drive, and I'll bring you guys along for the test drive whenever that happens. Okay, so I got the engine on, I got that pulley welded on there. I had to fix the throttle cable because it turns out it was actually broke. So now everything works. Throttle moves. I had this engine running, but I haven't driven it yet. So, um, let's see. Maybe I'll put the parking brake on. And, uh... Hopefully it's not leaking gas still. Good, I had to replace both uh, of those little O-rings on the bottom of the carburetor because it was leaking. Oh, one pull, that ain't bad. It's actually really quiet. Feels like it's geared a little bit too high, but we'll see. I know these had small pulleys on them. Oh, second gear is actually pretty quick.
so I'm gonna get cleaned up a little bit uh, maybe pick up a little bit of this tool mess that I have laying everywhere cuz I'm I'm gonna probably get this one here done and then move on to probably this one and kinda have less projects going on at one time because right now I have four tractors in the works so yeah I'm gonna get cleaned up a little bit pick up that mess on the floor at least kinda gather some stuff up come back and maybe wipe this down with the SOS pads and bring some of that paint back so before it rains any harder I thought I'd just kinda show you how big of a difference these things make So just by doing that, you can already see that yellow is starting to come back. I mean you can see it's starting to get a lot nicer than it was before. So I'm going to shut this camera off because I'm going to be all full of that soapy stuff. And uh, before you guys won't be able to hear me because that rain's getting louder and louder. I'm gonna get some bunch of stuff done and come back. So I ended the last part of the video a little bit short when I was cleaning up this fender because it was raining. So I got the rest of the tractor cleaned up, got the hood put on, got that clean. It's actually in a little bit nicer shape than I thought it was. I hammered the dents out and that took me a whole probably 25 seconds to do that. I just tipped the hood completely upside down and took a hammer, a larger head hammer, and just smashed it from the other side. And it's pretty flat now. There might be a little bit of a dent coming from the other side right here, but nothing that's that bad. I thought that was kind of cool how it came out that easy. I wasn't expecting that. Normally I'm working at that for a very long time and it still doesn't look very good. So on the mini mower, nothing has been done on that thing. Well, that's going to be my next thing to do because that 12.6 is done. Uh, the 16.6, I got the front decals on. And the reason that only the front ones are on is because I ran out of glue for the back. So, and I make my own decals. So that's why I have to glue them on. Uh, the 20T and 199, nothing has been done on those yet. I think they're still parked in the same spot as the last time you saw them. Uh, so I took off this thing. Not sure what point in time I did this, but I took this off. I thought it was very, very well made. It almost looks factory made, but I doubt it. Uh, this went to the PTO engager so that you wouldn't have to push it with your foot. So whoever had this must not have been able to push on it with their foot so they had to make this contraption. That That's actually really nice. I'm gonna keep that just in case. But And then uh, I took off the front attachment mount because I don't need that because I don't have a dozer blade or anything like that that fits this. There's the engine from that mini mower. Um, the battery that was in it, I thought this was kind of funny. So it said, shipped March of 2002. Um, I'm going to find a spot to park that because I am completely out of room for tractors in the tractor area. So I have to figure out where to park that. And then work on uh, this little mini mower thing. And I'll come back with some progress on this. I found those two front tires, so I'm gonna go put those on here so it's a little bit more rolly, rolly, than it was before, and I'll come back with some progress. So I got the engine and everything in, I got those front tires put on. Um, so I actually did take this thing for a little ride, so here's a video of that. So as you can see it actually works. It doesn't go quite as fast as the video makes it appear to be. It goes about two to three miles an hour. 
according to the GPS on my phone. It'll probably gain a little bit with uh, some better rear tires that aren't completely off the bead and junk. Um, I got my air filters today for the 99 and 20 T. So these were like 10 bucks a piece. I ordered them two days ago and they're only from a place that's like two hours away. So I get them really quick. Um, these tires I'm going to figure out what to do with. Uh, probably take the tire off the rim, junk the tires and keep the rims. Uh, it would be nice to figure out how to take the rear tires off. Which I, there should be a bolt. Yeah, bolt, but this side here is missing the bolt. So I'm pretty sure they're not going to come off. So it will have to probably change the tire right on the machine. The 12.6 is completely done. I just need to make some space over in the track area to put this over there. Um, otherwise, just kind of gathering up some stuff ready to start the next video, which I will do that very soon. I'm going to end this one right here. So next time I should be doing the final stage on the 99 as well as the 20T over there. And then uh, I'll probably show you this with the hood and everything on there because I have to figure out that. Uh, maybe I'll show you super quick how this grill is going to mount because the engine is in the way. So this used to mount somewhere in there and it can't anymore because the muffler and air filter are there. So I'm going to make a bracket that comes out so the grill will mount right here. There's no way I'm going to cut into this. It's bad enough I drilled three holes in the frame to mount this engine. So I'm going to do that at some point here and then uh, this little thing will be done as well I'm not in any kind of hurry for stuff but I keep ending up doing projects that don't take a whole lot of time so before you know it I'll have like three tractors left out of the 11 of them I just bought so thanks for watching I'll have the next video up within next couple days or whatever